everyone. It's Lonnie. Welcome back. We are doing episode two of the YouTube challenge by Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda called Tagtastic. So that's hashtag Tagtastic. And I'm making tags that are folded up at the top. And so they're going to be quite thick. Now, Tina used slides, and I don't have any actual slides, so what I did was um, I designed some on Photoshop. And because they're normally white, I had to give them a little bit of a color so that I would be able to see where the lines are to cut. But I thought if... Um, if people are interested, I could post these on my coffee page and then you could download them from there. So first things first, I think we're going to get about three, three tags. Yeah, three tags. I measured them. They're about just over eight inches across here. So I was thinking, because the slides are two inches, almost two inches. Yep, about two inches. So these need to be a little wider. So I was thinking three. And then three. Three, and then there will be enough for another one, but probably not for this project. Alrighty, let's go. And two, I was thinking um, this could still make one, just not with these slides. So I'm just going to cut a couple. And I haven't had a chance to watch her whole video yet, so I'm hoping I got the gist of it. It's not going to be completely straight because I don't have... I don't have a metal ruler. I probably could do a better job with the um, scissors. Like so. I can use the side that doesn't have the... Yeah, it's not perfect, but... Not everybody has slides kicking around, so um, let's see, maybe if I do that again, I'll get a better result. I don't know. A punch would work too. Oh, that would be so nice. Um, yeah, that's not great either. I think slides are fairly small in real life, so that's why I went with the two inch measurement. I could be off a little bit on that, but I didn't want to make my tags any wider. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to try and go on the inside a little. Okay, this might be my best one so far. Okay, I'm going to use that one. Good enough. I could probably use those two if I wanted to fix them, but I don't really want to right now. Okay. So then, actually that would work on there. It's skinny enough. Didn't have to make these 
three inches. I'll start with the skinny one, see what happens. All right, so then I have to decide where I want the picture to be. I'm thinking towards the top. And I'm going to just trace this. And then I'm going to cut this out. And I think this will be the fiddliest part. I could actually cut this out a little bigger. Because this part isn't going to, like, the edges of this isn't going to show. Okay, so there's that. Then we need a picture. And I had a hard time picking pictures. So, let's see, I have one of a lighthouse. That might be all right. I have, yeah, that's probably the only one on this sheet that's gonna actually work because the others are too big. those for something else. What else? I printed out these um, wedding photos really small. I got them from the Digital Collage Club or Making and Creating. And I was thinking some of these look really cool. That might work. Yeah, that's the right size, all right. And then I was thinking, um, this one here, just the bride with her, posing with her bouquet. I like that one too. I mean, <laughs> it depends who you, who ends up with the tag, I guess. All right, um, let's see kind of partial to the second yellow one here. And too, if you don't have any tiny little pictures, maybe you know how to make those um, specimen cards and you have some, um, what do you call it? something already in a like laminated that could be that could be used as well um, let's see obviously you need a smaller one something like that that would look good Maybe a smaller butterfly it. But that was my plan B if I hadn't, if I didn't have um, pictures. I was going to do that. All right. Her head is kind of close to the outside of the picture there. There's more, there's more room on this one.
Okay, sorry about that. I had some noise in the background, so I wasn't able to film properly. Anyway, so we want to um, put some nice paper over top of the craft. I mean, you wouldn't have to. You could leave it. But I want to put music paper. on one and then I'll probably do something grungy on the other one. I haven't quite decided, but let's see what what happens here. So we have to cut the hole out again. I had another idea. Um, I think I have frames on my coffee page. At least I made them to put on there. And I was thinking these would work. They're a little bit bigger, but on the three inch ones, they would work. So if you wanted to, you could use those. Or if you have other frames, that would work as well. Alright, so I did not copy dye this music paper. And that's okay, I'm not too worried about it. I kind of want it to look like it continues here though. Okay, and then put some more glue. Doesn't really matter because it is the back, but. I think that will look better. Use that for something else. Okay, so then we can just trace that with a craft knife or you can do it with your scissors. I'll probably do a two-part cut. Actually, that'll be fine because the frame's going over top. Okay, so then choosing a picture that I want. I think I decided on this one. Like so. I think I do want to ink around the opening here. Oh, that's right. It's not going to show up. Never mind. All right. So then if we do that. Okay. So we have to get that picture down pretty good. I'm going to put the 
glue over there. And then maybe we can slide this into the perfect spot here. There we go. All right, so then we need, what's that stuff called? Some kind of hard plastic, you know, like they have the, over the slides. I'm using laminated, la laminating paper and just to cover that. Like so. It's a little thick, that's okay. I actually, that's a, this is a three millimeter weight and it's something I ran through the laminator already, so it's left over. And so it's a little thicker. You could use what you have, even if you just have like some acetate or some, you know, a clear plastic bag. Okay, so I'm going to just make a or try to make a thin line on the outside of the picture and then do an outside of this piece fingers out of there with the hard part. Okay, then we glue that part down. I'm going to put it on this side because I want the hole to be, fair, the glue on around the hole to be fairly close so that it doesn't move too much and then we can put more glue on the edges and like so and then squish that down Again, that's a fairly thick tag. That's okay. That's fine. All right, so I have this one for this tag. And no, it looks like the Music paper wasn't cut enough. Let's see if I can fix that. How would I do that? I already glued it down. I can maybe cheat around the edge here. Okay, I think that'll be okay. That was close. Maybe I'll do a little bit more on the side here as well. So long as I don't puncture that plastic. Okay, that's better. That was close. Okie doke. Now, this is a little too light for my liking. I'm just gonna ink it in. 
and get a little coffee dyed would have been better, I guess. I'm going to cut the um, angle of the top. I just wanted to roughly see how that would look. All right, so then I'm going to do this. I was gonna maybe put some lace Under it, maybe I'll put some around it. Something like that. And then, yeah, I'll do the flip that over to make a nice. And then I can ink that again. And then I'm going to punch a hole. Think about what kind of Was thick. Okay, I'll just put it there for now. I was thinking for the um, for the hole here, I might do an eyelet. I don't do a lot of eyelets, but sometimes they're nice. Well, first of all, it came with eyelets, and if you don't have a gizmo to put the eyelets in with, it doesn't really it doesn't really want to work. I think I'm gonna go for gold. Sorry for the noise. I was using pliers to put eyelets in earlier and it didn't really work. I thought it was working, but then when I look back on it, it just, you know, like when you look, look at past projects and how they're holding together, um, this seemed to be better, so we'll see. All right. Eyelet goes in there. This part goes in over top. And it has a, a certain way it's supposed to go on. I've only done this once or twice, so hopefully this is right. No, something is not right. Okay, what if I do it the other way? That works. All right, learn from me. Follow the directions. <laughs> Or if one way doesn't work, maybe a different way will. All right, so done with that. Okay. Still want to decorate this a little more. Um, let's see. I was thinking some pretty lace. What else? 
need like a flower or something. Um, oh, this was hanging around here. I think maybe that needs to be in there. Kind of shiny. Add some sparkle. Like so. And then maybe, I don't know, a button. Oh, I know. I still got all my seals handy here. Something like that. I like it. I'm going for it. Gonna let it hang off the edge a little for now. I could have covered up that miscut. In fact, I think there's a little something showing through, so I'm gonna just cover that up with the lace. And then make that the focal point. Yeah, I'm just heating up, waiting for my hot glue here. That one first. And this one over top. Didn't like that. Strong as spider web. All right, there's that. And then this. Okay, like so. And then trim that. All right, um, what else? I just feel like something's missing here. Maybe some bling. I don't really have anything gold. I don't have anything gold in the way of bling. However, should we try the stickles? We could put them on the frame. In fact, this will take a little while to dry. Let's see what becomes of this. I do hope they lay flat. bought this stickle stuff a while back but I was kind of afraid to use it because I had a bad experience it, with it not drying that one time. Okay, I think that will look nice if I actually let it set now and don't mess it up. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here. I have to figure something out with the eyelet afterwards. What am I going to put in there? I'm not sure yet. Okay, so then I'm going to go back to the one I started with, which was this one. Now, since I picked the wedding picture, I'm wondering what I should cover this with. Grungy doesn't really seem to fit the bill. It's a little grungy, but it's flowers, so. I think that'll work. Okay, so first I'm going to cover this. And I think it's, again, not long enough. 
What is with that? So, I might do the back and the front separately this time because um, it'll be harder to match up the flowers than it was the music paper. Trying to think, where do I want it? Hopefully, that will work. Tell me, are you joining in this challenge? I probably asked that last time, but I'd like to know. Actually, when I saw the start of today's video with the slides, I almost decided to back out, but then I thought, no, that's part of the challenge is to um, make do with what you have and try to make something work so i'm still here all right so there's the hole which needs to be removed Then, keeping in mind, we have to put a slide over top. I'm going to go with that one. So Tina stamped on hers. Hmm. Not sure. Sure, if I like that. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep something in mind for that while we do this part. So then, I'm just gonna put some glue on the back and then see. Okay, I think that will be fine. Now we need our plastic again. It's easier to see if it's actually visible. <laughs> okay. I want that to be clean. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all of these. I guess there's seven of them. But, I will try. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the outside of the picture because it's almost the same size here. So. That'll look interesting. You know how when things age, they start to, um, you start to see the glue and things. Well, this is supposed to dry clear, but if it doesn't, there'd be like a, like a glue leak there which 
I think could actually happen with the real thing. So, okay, what am I gonna do with this? What are my options here? I used my frame idea. Oh, did you see that? The glue went over top of the stickle. All right, maybe I saved it. I tried anyways. Okay, I'm just gonna stand it up for now. Hopefully that'll help it. Um, I'm thinking over here, maybe I should have. Well, that answers that question. I was wondering if um, I had a glue that would actually stick to plastic. And so far, the Barely Arts glue seems to do that, so. Ultimately, I guess it wouldn't matter too much because we're gonna glue the paper down as well. So we're gonna do that after I cover the back. Now, I'm gonna use the same. This paper is from Creative Fabrica. I'm getting a lot of my digitals there now because I don't know, either my style is changing or something, but I'm really liking them now. I just have the free account, so. The problem with Creative Fabrica, if there is one, is that there's so many nice things on there. You can kind of get lost looking at everything. So, All right. Okay, I'll just ink that. I got a little bit of the white. A little bit of the white edge, that's okay. Ink will solve that problem. Then I'm gonna, may as well, let's see. I can do this now, I suppose. And then I can glue the sides together, the front and the back. I'm just gonna make that smooth. I don't know why, it's like fun to do now. Oh, I just had an idea for the um, frame. And that would change it again. Do I dare? I just was thinking of this. It's cardboard. With one side removed and then I have some gesso. If this doesn't work, I'll just 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> It's harder to cut with the gesso on it. Just going to clean that up, I think, on the inside. Okay, so that's not a slide. And if I had known I could do it with... Well, let's say if I had had the idea to do it with um, cardboard, I could have made it a lot bigger. But such as it is, I kind of like it. So yeah, that is on the inside and it probably will show a little bit. That's okay. It might dry clear yet. Okay, so something like that. And then I want to ink it. And with all the playing around with it, it's a little softer now than it than I would like it, but by the time I glue it down, it should be okay. I want to ink the inside of the frame as well. It's probably going to be another long video. I'm going to just do two today. Okay. Something like that. That kind of makes the whole thing pop a little, I think. I like it. Okay, then I'm just gonna glue this down. And I don't know, I was thinking more lace. I have this. This could be fun. Maybe I'll put that on top. I was gonna try and put some. <gasps> no, no, no. Phew. It's okay. <laughs> okay, I kind of don't really. I'm not a fan of stickles just for that reason now. Because they have to they dry, it takes them so long to dry. Okay, so sorry Tina, it's not a slide, but I'm still kind of trying. I'm <laughs> I had full intentions of actually using a slide that time. Okay, I won't do an eyelet in this one. I could, however, hmm, this is too much fun. Just adding a little bit of gold. Yeah. It's a hoot. Especially if you have something to clean your fingers with. Which I don't. Apparently my wet wipe has gone dry on me. Okay. So then I will ink the outside. 
I almost feel like with that cardboard there, it doesn't need much in the way of decoration. But let's see. I think maybe a butterfly on top of the frame there would be nice. And I was not aiming for perfection. Okay, so that. And then, I don't know, maybe something like this. Except this has that weird um, sheen to it. Not that that's bad, it just... I have that other ribbon still. This one that has kind of the same bluish, like it picks up the tint there. If I made like a ribbony thing here. I could have done a bow. What was I thinking? I make like a bow you know the kind with the two loops and then you tie them um, how did I do that I may have taken a piece too small Wrap one inside the other there. And then you just play with it. In fact, this would have been nice for the top here too. I was thinking putting it there. And then what I could do is put this through here. That way they're the same and yet they have different functions and they'll look different. So kind of matchy matchy, but that's okay. Something like that. And then like so. Let's save those little pieces for something else. Okay, so like that there. Put that there. Just need my hot glue. And then I don't know, maybe a, and then two, I found this, it's got pink roses. Okay, what if we do this? Then I can cut that one off at the end. Yes or no? Sometimes a second opinion would be really nice. I feel like if I put it 
the knot on the frame, somehow it won't be as noticeable. If I put it on the frame, it just kind of hangs off. Okay, maybe it's not a butterfly issue at all. What if I go back to this and finish it off with this? Try that. And I need to secure this better because it's open at the end. Maybe you need to wrap it around. Okay, so it is what it is. That's actually not bad. I mean, when all tags come together, it could kind of use something else yet, but I don't know if I have what it needs. So I'm going to say that that is complete. All right, so what did we do today? So that is one, and that is the other, and I still don't have anything for that. What shall it be? Ta-da! This lace stuff. I think that'll go nicely. And I will do what I thought of doing on the other one. Well, what if we put this through I was going to tie a bow yet, but it's not long enough. It's all right. I'll work. I'll just shorten this a little. There. All right. We have completed another challenge. I still have some more paper left for another one, but I don't know. I, I didn't actually do a slide, but does it matter? I mean, I had fun. So, hope you got something out of that, and uh, maybe you'll like to make some yourself and actually use the slides. I still will put them on my coffee page for you. Alright, thanks for watching and tuning in, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.